Bonjour, welcome to another Renault Zoe video. In this video I will show you my backup power solution to take emergency DC power from the Renault Zoe into the AC power which you can transport via an extension cord into your home or take it into your tent or vacation house. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Let's go. So, ooh la la, we're here now in the centre of all the action in the Renault Zoe. And this is the 12 volt battery, excuse me for the noise, I think she starts drinking. But here you would connect the inverter to, if you wanted to get more power than the 125 watts. You would connect here the positive to the positive, and the black here, the negative to the negative, and connect it back via this plug to your inverter. And then if you have the Renault Zoe running, the big main battery pack, which you cannot connect to directly, but is constantly charging this battery. And that's the beauty of the solution, that you have constant power feeding your inverter and your batteries that you connect to it. So you always have emergency backup power, and that's still a solution for a car that cannot do bi-directional fancy charging, but you can still use it in the same way and take that DC power from the Renault Zoe, this massive French power bank that you drive around with and then connect it to your appliances at home. Très bien. Let me know what you think, whether this would work for you. Yeah, and welcome in my wife's Renault Zoe. And this is actually already the solution. It is a small inverter that you can use in two possible ways to convert the Renault Zoe's DC power directly from the batteries to AC power that you can use, for example, to connect a laptop to or any other uh, devices. I've selected a small inverter up to 300 watts because for my use cases it's enough. Uh, and the advantage is that you can connect it directly to the cigarette outlet, which according to the Renault Zoe supports up to 125 uh, watts. Um, if you want to go higher than that, there's also an option to connect this one directly to the car battery, which is in the front of the car. There are many inverters on the internet. Most of them are from China and from unknown Chinese brands. After yeah, after doing a lot of research on this, I wanted a brand which is a bit more reputable. I found a brand called Giandel, which seems to be from Australia and gets good reviews, also with the customer care. Yeah, Again, this is not a sponsored video. I went out to get this with my own money um, because yeah, I wanted a brand that was reliable and uh, yeah, an inverter that I could primarily connect to the cigarette outlet here and then use AC power in the car. Uh, but for example, also in the front, if that was ever necessary and I wanted to go a bit higher. This is a pure sign inverter. Here you can see pure sign inverter. And uh, although uh, regular inverters are a bit cheaper, this one was 60 euro. A uh, pure sign inverter allows you to connect sensitive equipment that really needs that uh, yeah that wave like real AC uh, current, and that is for example uh, a laptop that I will connect. That one won't work on the regular inverter, but with pure sign, uh, all the devices work. Yeah, uh, why would yeah uh, why would you want to have something like this in your car? Well, for example, if you don't have your own driveway and your own garage. Um, then it can be very difficult to get power from the Renault Zoe into your house. Then a small inverter like this can be really good because directly in the car, once the car is on, you can uh, take power immediately from the batteries. And if you ever wanted to go, let's say, uh, transport backup power into the house, I have this portable uh, battery, which I've demonstrated in another video, which I can charge from the Renault Zoe and then take the backup power into my house. And then once it's empty, I just let the Zoe run and I recharge it. If you have your own garage, of course, it makes sense maybe to get an even bigger inverter. I think you can go uh, up to uh, 1000 watts continuous with a peak to 1500. And then you connect it directly to the car batteries in the front. And then you can uh, yeah, get more higher power, but you need to use alligator clips. It's a bit more risky, you need to be a bit more careful. Uh, so I prefer a small plug-and-play solution like this that I can work in multiple ways and I know for sure won't damage the electrical components of my car. You can connect the inverter directly to the uh, cigarette outlet. As you see here, it supports up to 120 watts of power. 
and it's uh, 12 volt so yeah most of devices you can just connect to this but make sure you don't go over the 120 and as you can see here I have activated my laptop I have connected it to the inverter here in the front to the AC outlet the inverter itself is turned on it has a green indicator light you don't hear the internal fan at all and as you can see here this is a 65 watt charger so that's the perfect setup I think for an inverter like this uh, yeah and uh, this allows you to uh, charge your electronic devices when there's a power outage or if you want to uh, you're on a road trip and uh, the other person wants to work a bit in the car this is the perfect way to uh, charge your electronics yeah and if you want to use the Renault Zoe to uh, actually take power from it uh, and take it into your house you could connect a battery to the Renault Zoe charge it with the inverter and then as you see now we've reached 100% already you can take the power into your house this is a portable uh, A AEG AEG as Deutschland compressor you inflate your car tires with it it has multiple USB and also these uh, 12 volt uh, outlets and on top of that you can also there's AC power in the back so you can connect an extension cord to it and it has uh, jump starters in case you have for example an empty uh, 12 volt uh, battery in the front which is responsible for actually starting your electric car you can jump start that with this or help other people I believe it also has about uh, 300 watts which again is uh, very good you can connect all sorts of devices to it I'll link to my video where I have a full demonstration of this device yeah, and for me personally uh, having this portable power bank which has a lot of use cases as you can see in my other video together with this inverter and this AC outlet which I can connect in the front uh, to the main battery or in the back is for me the perfect uh, backup power solution and although this is a car that cannot do bi-directional charging this inverter is actually more or less the same concept what you would find in very modern electric cars that support this I mean of course it doesn't look like this but it does exactly the same I have also purchased an extension cord if I want to connect it to the batteries in the front to the the main battery and then I could plug in this cigarette outlet here in this extension cord and then I could take power directly uh, from uh, the big battery uh, in the front which is responsible for starting the car and then also I have another extension cord if it needs to be yeah, even longer and that allows me to get in multiple ways uh, backup or emergency power from the car uh, in case there's a power outage or if you go camping or you go off grid and there's a small house that doesn't have any power with this you can operate the lights uh, you know and there's a portable water boiler that you can buy for 12 volt all sorts of handy things so what do you think uh, is this a good inverter for people that don't have their own garage that maybe don't need too much power but still want to be able to have some sort of multifunctional solution for in their Renault Zoe if there's uh, ever a power outage or you want to go off grid let me know if you've already used an inverter if you have a portable power bank and if you charge it via your electric car if you have any questions about these uh, products I purchased them with my own money on Amazon did a lot of research I'm very happy with them let me know if you have any questions and I'm looking forward to hearing from you see you in the next video my Zoe fans Au revoir. Au bientôt.